body or anyone that is near it okay this was what actually happened when I attended to a customer just moments ago alright the TV was a 65 inch uh, 
uh, it was wall mounted with uh, using a swivel mount so swivel mount meaning you can shift the TV from left to right not horizontal or vertical all right it's just left to right you can pull out from the wall mount and you can shift it from left to right like that so nothing was amiss until when we service the TV I need to bring the TV down onto the our cushion we have a cushion specially uh, made cushion to lie the TV flat but of course before that you have to unscrew the holding lock from the wall mount going to TV at the back of it two screws are holding TV the rest of it are holding the wall mount against the wall of course before even unscrewing anything there are of course uh, cables at the back there are power cables you have to you have to take it out first and normally we label them which port which port it goes into and you have to remove the TV slightly from the wall that's when the whole TV came out all right I'm not gonna explain much I'm going to do a voiceover with a couple of uh, I have two videos and a couple of photos just to show you the exact situation what actually happened just now so let's do a transition okay lah Location at number 2 Hague Road Incident happened about 5.30pm Whole TV and mounting bracket dislodged from this wall This part hit the flooring two coffees one for them yeah. mm. So this was originally where the bracket was on the wall mounted by 8 screws. This is the first image taken after the TV came off the wall. Okay, so slightly broken at the bottom. This is a close-up of how the screw holes were. And the screw used were actually look smaller in size thank goodness the panel is still working condition no damages to the screen okay so as you can see from the two videos and a couple of photos earlier all right um, what actually happened it it was actually the first uh, time that I came across this and I've never heard of something like this happen to anyone but after this incident these things uh, do happen so we can't take things for granted that every installation done uh, is perfect right you still need to have it checked okay make sure everything is secured all right if you notice anything amiss uh, get professional to have a look at it right so the takeaway from this is that or rather um, what led to this problem the mounting I believe I believe according to customer's explanation was not done by a professional was not done by someone who specializes in wall mounting of this uh, equipment in this case the TV so 
according to customer's explanation, the TV came from their previous house. So, if you were to move house, you would engage a delivery team, right? Movers, for in this case. So, the TV was installed on the wall by the movers. Alright, I won't mention which company. But of course, I've got all the detail, details, inclusive of their purchase, where did they purchase the TV from. So, just a tip uh, for you guys, or rather, I wouldn't say a tip. Uh. Alright, um... If you are planning to move house and you'll be shifting something big like a TV for example to your next place you can engage movers okay firstly make sure the TV is wrapped in a box place in a plastic wrap in a box uh, it's not sufficient just to place in a box because your LCD screen the very screen they are watching it's glass actually that is glass it's the reason plastic you knock it hard enough it will crack and trust me I've seen crack cases enough it's very fragile it's very thin super super thin alright look up LCD panels or LCD open cells on YouTube you can see actually the actual screen itself which are projecting your images how thin is it it's super thin so you have to protect it uh, place the TV itself in a plastic and place the whole thing in a box padded with styrofoam if you do not have any padding then uh, yeah nothing can be done yeah, what? Expect me to go where? These people, they, 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 the horn. I can't go anywhere. In front, all got cars lining up, going to do the turn. Uh, like as though I can press a wing button, then my van can fly up. Come on lah, use your brain lah. You tit 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 for until tomorrow, so I cannot go anywhere. If jam means jam lah. Alamak. Bodo. Okay, where was I? Then, bus lah, ready. So yeah, please make sure the TV is cushioned properly, then you can shift it. Once, for example, once you have reached your place and you want the TV to be wall mounted, regardless whether it was wall mounted previously, and if you want your TV to be wall mounted, please engage a professional wall mounting team or company. Somebody that specializes in doing this type of thing do not ask the movers to do for you unless they also specialize in moving uh, products and also wall mounting make sure the company mentions this on their website or in their portfolio whatsoever otherwise engage come on there are i think quite a few wall mounting companies one of them is titan you can see their lorries or vans mostly lorries lah uh, outside Titan you know T-I-T-A-N and they have a photo quite a few photos of their wall mounting products on the lorries okay engage these people pay a bit more you pay a bit more don't scream on your on, on this service because you never know if it's a boss job done by other contractors okay just because you want to save money end up you neglect on the safety aspect all right uh, that customer was very blessed i would say that the tv dropped in our hands today with me and my colleague imagine if the tv were to drop when they have kids running around or imagine if uh, they were to drop when when uh, they are just doing some cleaning, they want to clean the wall, they bring out the TV from the, uh, out from the wall a bit, and the whole thing drop. What's going to happen? So 
So uh, enough being said. That's why I would want to touch on uh, this aspect of safety first. All right, this is a perfect uh, real world example. Okay, what would happen if other people do not do their job properly? It will jeopardize other people's lives. So don't play, play. Okay, enough talking. I'm almost home. Let's go on to. Some food delivery.